what's going on guys um, in this video I'm going to explain how to solve this uh, trigonometric trigonometric question first 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 okay. so the question is uh, find the remaining trigonometric ratio so first I'm going to take this question A so the A is asking Cos theta is equal to 205 and the angle is between 0 to 5 by 2. So the graph is going to be like this. It's supposed to be a straight line. Okay, so this is um, all silver T cup, and in this uh, this quadrant quadrant one, all um, all angles uh, like all the ratios are positive, and in this one sine is positive, tan is positive, cos is positive. So they are saying it's between zero to five by two. So it should be in the first quadrant. And the cos theta is equal to over five. So first we we draw a graph and cos theta. Cos theta mean adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is going to be two, and hypotenuse is going to be five. And uh, since this is in the positive x axis, therefore the two is positive. Hypotenuse is always positive. So therefore, we we know the cos theta is equal. Cos theta is already given. It's two over five. So from this information, we can find the opposite side of this theta. If this is theta, we can find the opposite side. Let's say it's x. So to find the x, we can use Pythagorean theorem. No. The Pythagorean theorem say uh, hypotenuse minus adjacent equal opposite. So five five squared minus two squared is going to be equal to x squared. So five squared is twenty five minus four equal to x squared. So it's going to be x is going to be root twenty one. So we found the x value, f x value. So from this information, the question is asking find the remaining trigonometric ratios. So we we know cos theta. We have to find sine theta, tan theta, and cosec theta, sec theta, and cot theta. So let's go one by one. Sec, let's first find sine theta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over opposite of hypotenuse so we found the opposite x value uh, root 21 so root 21 over 5 so that's going to be sine theta and tan theta is equal tan theta is equal sine theta over cos theta so it's sine theta is root 21 over 5 and cos, two, cos theta is 2 over 5 so we divide sine theta uh, by cos theta so the answer is going to be 2, uh, sorry, root 21 over 2. And we found cos theta, sin theta, tan theta. Let's go for cosec theta. Cosec theta is equal reciprocal of sin theta. So we know the sin theta is root 20 over 5. So the cosec theta is going to be 5 over root 21. 5 over root 21 and uh, sec theta is going to be reciprocal of cos theta 5 over 2 and cot theta is going to be reciprocal of tan theta it's going to be 2 over root 21 So this is the answer for the A question.
so let's go to the B question. I'm gonna open a new uh, new uh, don't say okay, no, new document. And the second question is given the information given is cos of theta is equal to seven over three, and the interval is between five by two over five. So let's draw the graph first. So the graph is gonna be like this, and the interval has given five by two to five. So five by two to five mean uh, it should be 90 5 by 2 is 90 degree and 5 is 180 degree it should be in this interval so first of all uh, we draw the graph first cos first let's write this cos theta is equal cos theta is equal 7 over 3 which means cos mean reciprocal of sin theta so we know sin theta is equal 3 over 7 also we have to consider in this quadrant all are positive sine is positive uh, also the t cup tan is positive cos is positive so i am going to draw this graph in this line and uh, sine theta is given 3 3 is opposite side and 7 is hypotenuse from this information we can find the adjacent let's say adjacent is a so a is going to be 7 square According to Pythagorean theorem, 7 square minus 3 square is equal to a square. So 7 square is 49 minus 9 is equal to a square. So a square is equal to 40 and a is going to be root 40. Root 40. We can, uh, we can write uh, root 40 like 4 into 10. So 4 is going to be uh, if it comes outside 2, 2 root 10. So a is going to be 2 root 10. So we found the hyper adjacent side. So from this information, we can find all the values. So we know sin theta, sin theta cos theta. We are going to find cos theta, tan theta, uh, sec theta, cos theta is already given, and cot theta. So cos theta is going to be hypotenuse over. Um, I just know hypotenuse. So I just is 2 root 10 over hypotenuse 7 and tan theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 3 over 2 root 10 and <coughs> sin theta cos theta tan theta uh, cosec theta cosec theta is already given sec theta we can find the sec theta by cos theta because it's going to be uh, also we should the important important information is in this side uh, in this side x value is negative so should be negative 2 root 10 so therefore cos theta is negative 2 over uh, 2 root 10 over 7 and tan is going to be sine over uh, sine theta over Posterior, so therefore, cos theta is negative, so therefore everything becomes negative. This is tan theta is negative, and sec theta is a reciprocal of cos theta, therefore it's also negative. Negative 7 over 2 root 10. 2 root 10. So we know sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, sec theta, cos theta, we have to find the cot theta. Cot theta is going to be reciprocal of tan theta. So it's going to be negative 2 root 10 over 3. So if this is the answer for the second question. So if we move to the third question, let's open a new one. Okay. The third C question asks, sin uh, given uh, information is sin theta is equal to minus 1 over 4. And, uh, uh, and the angle should be between 5 over 2 to 3 5 by 2. So they asked for it, so it should be between 90 degree to uh, 270 degree. So let's draw the graph first. And here, all positive, sine positive, tan positive, and cos positive. So, from this information, uh, we can 
and the c is given sine is negative let's write the value here sine theta is equal negative 1 over 4 negative 1 over 4 so <coughs> from this is an information we know sine theta sine theta should be negative so here sine theta is positive and they said it's between 5 by 2 and 2 by 2 uh, actually 5 by 2 to 3 5 by 2 5 by 2 is 90 degree and 3 5 by 2 is 170 degree so the theta should be between these two so we know this in this quadrant second quadrant sine is positive the question given sine is negative so there should be uh, therefore the therefore this angle should be in the third quadrant so we draw that graph in the third quadrant and we know the opposite side is 1 negative 1 and hypotenuse is always positive so from this information we can find the adjacent side so according to Pythagorean theorem According to Pythagorean theorem, um, A is uh, 4 square minus, minus 1 square is equal to A square. So 16 minus 1 should be equal to A square. Therefore, A is equal to root 15. And since, since this is in the negative side of x axis, this value should be negative so a is negative 15 so from this information we can find everything so we know sine theta we have to find cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta so first find the cos theta cos theta should be adjacent adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is uh, we have found the adjacent root 15 over 4 and tan theta is equal sine theta over cos theta uh, sin theta we know it's minus 1 over 4 and cos theta is root, negative root 15 over 4 so sin theta, uh, tan theta is going to be 1 over root 15 negative negative cancel and it becomes positive and we know cos theta tan theta cos theta we have to find the cos theta cos theta is reciprocal of sin theta so minus 4 and sec theta is sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta so it's going to be negative 4 over 15 to 15 and cot theta cot theta is going to be reciprocal of tan theta root 15 so we know sin theta cos theta tan theta cos theta sec theta and cot theta so that's it we found all the values so this is the answer for the uh, fourth question thank you for watching